Hello everyone, welcome to a new series on the channel. This is Let's Play Castlevania Aria of Sorrows, my sparks. Probably the first Castlevania game I've actually played. Now, I'm going to immediately say I'm not planning to do 100%. My goal is to show off the main game mode, the bonus game mode, all endings, because I can do that easily, and also show, I think it's the other extra modes that aren't the main game modes. So, with that, Let's start. All right. I should explain a bit about Castlevania. If you know the word, the name Castlevania, you know the whole story. If you don't, basically, most Castlevania game, Castlevania games have you play as one member of the Belmont clan to defeat Dracula, usually. There are a few cases cases we don't. For example, the widely popular Castlevania Symphony of the Night, where you play as Alucard. And usually, it's in the distant past. This is the one hour. The year is 2035. We're almost there. Japan. Crowds of spectators are gathering around in suspicion of the first solar clips of the 21st century. My name is Thomas Cruz and I'm a high school exchange student studying abroad in Japan. I live in the, near the Hakuba Shrine, an ancient shrine with strong ties to Japanese mythology. Mina you know, Hakuba, the only daughter of the shrine security here, is both my classmate and my childhood friend. I started me making my way to the shrine to see the solar clips with Mina, but for some strange reason, the stairway leading up to the shrine felt longer than usual. If something was tr trying to keep us from our destination, I finally managed to get through the shrine gate, my senses begin to dim. The pitch black sun is holding chaotic darkness together, trying to rouse a sleeping soul, as if looking for its missing half. I love this, because we're just some random guy. Unlike every other game, it makes sense for your character to be there. This is the one game I saw. Oh. Hey, looks like he's coming too. Where am I? Whoa! What happened? So you decided to join us. Do you have a pleasant nap? Huh? Who the heck are you? It's okay, Sama. His name is Genya Arakado. <sighs> Genya, you have to choose Arakado. <laughs> if you don't know why I'm laughing, You'll eventually see, probably the end of the LP. Skip the introductions. I have a few questions, and I need answers now. Go, go ahead. Why have you come here? Why? Well, I mean, I... Hang on. Where are we? We're in Dracula's castle. Huh? Dracula's castle? Are you telling me we are in Europe? Transylvania? No. We're inside a solar eclipse. Inside the eclipse? You're insane! Do you think I'm a fool? Soma, listen to him. He's telling you the truth. What the heck are you talking about? Give me an explanation. Well, it's like this. Huh? An enemy. Good job, Arigato. And that might look familiar if you've played previous games. Go, super go. Yeah, go back to where you came from. He has a knife! <laughs> I don't know why. It just always baffles me. You're a high schooler with a knife. Well, what was that thing? So it has awakened. What, what has? The spirit of the creature you killed has just entered. Krills. Killed has just entered your body. You have the power to absorb the abilities of the monster you kill. What? 
Why would I have that power? You've gained the power and I must go to the master chamber. For what reason? Do you not wish to return with your friend to your own world? Of course I want to go back. Go to the master chamber. Then you will understand everything. But I can't just leave Mina here like this. No need to worry about her. I'll put up a protective barrier. Where was that barrier? Where was that barrier before? I know the reason why is so we have a game, but Aracada. Really? But death we will certainly find those who stay here too long. Then then I Yes, only you can save from a painful death. And you, what will you do? I too have things I must do within these cast falls. Go! Set forth! Both both your own life I cannot word today. Both your own life and hers are at stake. So we're in this game. Now the game was originally released on the Game Boy. So yeah. Uh A is to jump. B is to talk to people. And we have a knife, a cheap pocket knife. Oh <laughs> I forgot, I forgot it's called casual clothing. I don't call bell ball owns a black shirt and a white fur coat casual clothing. We can press B to use our knife. Uh, uh, quick, no controller settings. Okay, so I think it's L. No, it's not. This is the first time I'm actually using... No, I don't want... There we go. Uh, controller settings. Bullet Souls up an attack? Uh, I'm not. I can't change that for some reason. Oh, I'm not a fan of that. <laughs> but yeah, it's up in the tank. I didn't even hold. I prefer having a dedicated soul button. Being honest. Oh, and I'm getting messed up. I don't know about the right side because that's not in the original. So, but yeah, well, I'm being slurred. Oh, we've got a new weapon. Definitely taking that. Oh, that's nice. But yeah. Yeah, no, I'm not a fan of this. Is there a way to actually change it? Okay, so that's what it's, that is. It's probably just telling us. <laughs> I don't like the fact that That Bill Souls are like this. I know it was in the original, but ah, oh, I prefer specific setups for. For Bullet Souls, honestly. Also, because I don't remember which game it is. There's one game where it's just a button, and it's pref I prefer that. Sword. Is it better than the base sword? No, it's not. Oh my god. Nope, I did not mean to do that. Gravekeeper. Now we got the back dash. The well known Belmont move. What 
I'm trying to hope, I part of what I hope to get there. So this is a save point. And if that coffin looks familiar, then good. Get money, which is going to be useful later. Probably hope to try and get. certain soul which if you can see it by attacking these mermen might be the merman soul there we go fires a water soul get that part now pretty much every enemy has a soul you can gain now I'm going here because there's some souls here, but it would be kind of useful. <laughs> I forgot. Oh! Now that's actually a much more useful soul. And I got the... I got the bat soul and they didn't even get the pendant. Yeah. Now, actually, you know what? Let's go over the stats. Attack and defense are what you think. HP is, well, saying MP is for what you use for souls. Though, number stats, probably not what you think. Strength is for your bullet souls. Yeah, don't get it. Your con is your health, and int is used for these souls, guardian souls. Some bullet souls use int, I believe, but it's very strange. Also, I'm going to see if I. Nope. Nope, I can't, I can't get the pattern now. But yeah, pretty much every enemy has, has a soul. There's literally like only technically two enemies. I actually really like that because it tells me something that's useful. armors easier because honestly there are for some reason my weakness in this game except when they're over there but I do want to try and get the skull archer if I can give us a few tries. So, if we someone get the axe armor, that'd be funny. That's the reason why I want to just do grinding here is partly for the money. You can only get money if you have full MP. Took more damage than I sh than I need to. Okay, I didn't get it. Oh well. I'll be back here anyways. And now we've got our first boss. Creaky Skull. Now, will I get lucky?
Nope, I'm not lucky. You can potentially get a soul. I didn't. Now those can give you full health and as well as also give you more MP and of course full restore. Sorry, I just had to give this one more try. Nope. because it gives us a mind up. Oh. I was hoping we get Peeping Eye, because Peeping Eye is actually pretty useful. And we can keep going for a bit. I hate fighting flying enemies. It's doubly worse when it's Peeping Eye. Because Peeping Eye. I'm getting absolutely cheesed by Peeping Eye. Okay, I'm going back. Skeleton Archer, Wood. Yep, this bird is an enemy. It's a blue crow. It's an annoying enemy to hit, apparently. But I'm also using the. Ah! Which one did I get? Oh! Boy! Boy! First Guardian Soul. Just by holding R, we gain fire. It's not like, well, pressing R in this case. It's not amazing, honestly. Oh, maybe I do have to go down. Yep, I do have to go. Which, guess what? <laughs> I'm not trying to run into peeping eye. And we've got killer fish! Which is not going to be useful if we get right now. We've got killer fish. Flying armor. Now this soul we're gonna be using quite a bit. I find it funny if we've got killer fish. It's useless outside of water. There's another soul I want to compare it to. 
people who don't have access to it, yeah. Keeping eye is really not wanting to be called. Too bad for it. I'm gonna eventually catch it. Because I'm probably going to end. Because I actually really want it. Scorcher. Okay. Apparently, this is the playthrough where the game decides, hey, I'm gonna give you everything. I have never gotten this many souls this early. Never. Now, I don't know why I keep going to go in and quit. I do like flying armor. The white dragon. Zombie soldiers. There we go. I've got leather plate. Better than a casual closed. Better than a casual. Oh, great. These guys. Get used to them. Especially when they get to their other counterparts. Because these guys are kind of annoying. Did it again. Cause I keep don't know why. Can't get that. For a moment, I thought <laughs> From I thought I got a soul and I was gonna be like, really? The first episode. It's going to make get like like getting souls is going to be quite quick. Oh, it's... scarf. That is technically better than the pendant. Though, luck is kind of useful, not as amazingly as some people think, think or thought it was. Oh! Well! Guess what? We gained some more power. I mainly just want to just... I'm going to just quickly do a quick bit of grinding on this white dragon. Okay, one more. Mainly because we're not going to be seeing the white dragon for a while. We'll be back here eventually, but not specifically to fight the white dragon.
Somehow, the archers are more bulky than the axe armor. I don't get it. Can't get up there, technically. You can technically do with speedrunning trick. Sadly, we can't do anything about this peeping eye. Alright, I forgot! <laughs> the soul for the zombie soldier is literally just grenade. Here's another grinding spot for the peeping eye. The grenade's not that great, if I'm being honest. Here's another peeping eye. For a moment I thought I got his soul and got a bit excited. Why I'm killing so many zombies, there's two reasons for it. One is that I want soul, but the fact that I think it also has. Actually, you know what? Uh, zombie. No, I've got the better one! Because the top one's the worst one for this one. I thought the base was the worst of the two. Granted, both things that these guys drop are pretty good. Uh, I'll do a bit of grinding on these guys for a bit. They don't get much experience, so don't use them for experience grinding. The drop rate is also very bad. You know what? I did it again! Soul. Oh, the tiny devil. No, what? I. I see equip. I think it means equip everything. episode. So, next time, we'll continue on and hopefully get more souls, because this game isn't giving me them a lot, and I don't have good luck. So, I'll be seeing you guys then. Zeno and Zuma, signing out.